All right, hello guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I had the intention of making this video kind of like working through the aftermath of building the shelves in the basement. Just kind of like organizing the stuff, sorting through things, but I am not going to do as much with that as I had originally thought. And I've actually done some of it already off camera. And so then I was like, yeah, that's not gonna be enough for a whole video. So I think we're just gonna do a weekend vlog. Uh, hopefully <laughs> we, um, so it's Friday night right now. And uh, tomorrow my husband is speaking at a lectureship. So um, I don't know, we'll see what we get up to, but hopefully I'm able to put enough interesting stuff in this video for you guys. Currently, I am sitting on the floor amongst all of my daughter's toys because I just pulled them out of her toy closet. I've done a video or two showing our toy rotation and our toy storage and all of that. We don't have a great system worked out yet, which is something I'm trying to rectify right now. <laughs> um, but if you have seen those videos, then you'll kind of know the issues with that storage closet. Um, it's just a regular closet and it has like one wire shelf, you know, near the top, like most closets do. It also has one, um, like the stairwell actually kind of comes up and cuts the floor off basically. And so they have like a shelf down there by the floor and it, is only connected to the wall on three sides and there's nothing supporting the fourth side. So it's just like not very stable. We have a super skinny bookshelf in there. I needed it to be skinny so that I could like pull the things on and off of it with, cause it's like in front of, a, there's like a wall in front of it, but it's like so skinny I could hardly fit toys on there. And then the, her, she has two closets in her room. The other closet is where we keep all of her clothes and stuff like that, but it had these huge totes with a lot of clothes that she had grown out of, but we actually have a different storage system for that now. Uh, we have like totes that we can hang up in the rafters of our garage. And so we've been putting her clothes out there, like the clothes she grows out of to save them for the next kids. Anyway, so we finally moved those clothes over. That was like a lot of her newborn and zero to three months, the clothes from before we started that other process. So, now, since we pulled those totes down, we moved them to the other totes that would fit in the garage and then used those big black totes to put um, other things in while we were organizing our basement. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then go back and watch my last video because we built storage shelves in our basement to really help maximize our storage, which it did. Like, I'm not trying to come off like that was a negative thing or anything. I just mean like, we're basically reorganizing our whole house because like one thing led to another thing, which led to another thing, which led to another thing. So now we're having to reorganize so many spaces kind of all at once. I mean, we didn't have to do this, but literally her toys, I'll just show you, I guess. So this is what I was talking about. Shelf on top, shelf on the bottom, not super stable. It goes, you know, like that and then a really skinny bookshelf over here and so I pulled all of her toys out as you can see but before this her toys were literally like cascading onto the floor like we couldn't shut these closet doors because the toys were just all spilling out because we have these bags okay when we go on trips or we go to church or whatever we put toys in bags and then we don't always take them back out and we just put the bags around this this was a big one. This is stuff that she got for, some of it is stuff she got for Christmas that we've literally not unpacked yet. So that's what was causing all the toys to spill all over the floor. And so I was like, we need to just do this because now we have this big empty space in this closet, okay? So we need to do this. So this is pretty much all of her toys. She has like six toys in rotation right now. Plus there's some toys that we, just like keep in various places around the house. But this is the majority. And some of them like, okay, that she used to use for therapy, but it's like a peanut ball. Um, but I think we're just gonna put it downstairs with some other different types of things. Okay, but basically 
what I'm doing, so we'll have things like toys and stuff come in these types of plastic bags. What I'm thinking of doing is, it's almost like you have to know like my full life story to understand and like have context for all this. So I apologize, but if you don't know, when I do homeschool for my daughter, we, she's like in preschool. And one of the things we cover is a color. And I always have a color sensory bin. I'll include a picture so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, I have a video showing my homeschool routine. I post pictures so often on my Instagram, which is linked below. But like every time it is the biggest pain in the butt because I have to like go around and I like take random pieces. So like, for instance, I might take a piece out of this puzzle. I might take this green piece out of this puzzle. So this puzzle is still put away where it's supposed to go, but with one piece missing because it's in the sensory bin, okay? And then it's like the biggest pain in the butt because what if that puzzle was at the bottom of the pile of all the puzzles? It's just like, oh my gosh, it's just on. And then it's like, but when it's multiple things or like I'll take little things off of this guy and then I don't know. And then it's like, well, I can't use this ever because I'm constantly, so when I put the ribbon back, I'm like, oh, I'll just take the orange one now because I go through all the colors like week by week. And so then it's like, this never has all the pieces. You know what I mean? Like, it's just annoying, honestly. So what I'm thinking is that I'll have a few things that she doesn't really play with often or we kind of have like duplicates of or whatever that can be like dedicated things for the sensory bags. And I'm thinking of using these types of bags for that. So these scarves or whatever, these little colored pieces of fabric, I use almost every week. And I don't really use them for anything else at this point in time. Like I totally could, they're, they could be used for so much. Um, but we just, we just don't. So I'm thinking what I'll do is have all of the red things that I would typically put in the bin or that just like that we don't really play with all that often. Where's the other red scarf? Oh, the other red scarf's out there. Okay, well, let's go show. Okay, so then we have these little books. There was a time where she was really into like little teeny tiny books and little even like this. And uh, she's really just not anymore. It's like she was and so then we bought a bunch and then now she's not. So then just whenever I go to rotate the toys in the sensory bin, I can just pull this whole bag out and I can like rotate the things that I use. I don't have to use the same things every time, obviously, but it's just so I have stuff together, okay? I have purple stuff ready to go for me. And if I wanna grab a few random little things here and there, I totally can do that. But it's just like not gonna be a big pain in the butt that it is right now. So that's one of my objectives, okay? So this is the stuff that's gonna go up in that closet. It's like, I don't have to move all the toys out of the way. I can just grab it. So we're going to have these bags in one of our little cube boxes and just pull out the ones that we need, right? Okay. Second, because I have room up there for probably three bins and I have about three bins that I can use. So I'm thinking for the other one, I have church toys, okay? So things that are relatively small, things that don't make noise, things that she plays with quietly. Easy to kind of like, again, we don't have to go through all the toys. We can just be like, okay, these ones are quiet. They're good for church. They're good for car rides. They're good for, you know, if we have a meeting and we like, whatever. We have those toys set aside. And then there was one other, oh, I think just toys that she's not really like aren't really in her age right now um really the main thing that we have of that is these big jigsaw puzzles and stuff some of them i had bought when i worked with kids some of them were from my childhood um but so i kind of have things like that that aren't really age appropriate for her yet and i have a few things that she's kind of aged out of i'm sorry i am like talking your ear off going on this whole tangent but like I've been sitting here staring at this mess for like 30 minutes, probably just losing my mind. So that's where we're at. I'll check back in with you when I have some fun progress to show you, okay?
All right, so believe it or not, I'm actually feeling pretty good about where we're at. I have tons of stuff that I consolidated, so like both of these boxes are empty. I'm not really sure why we kept this box to begin with, but yeah, and then both of the Lego Duplo boxes are empty because we consolidated them into this bag. Um, these blocks, <laughs> like they fit in this bag and there's plenty of room, but we had them in that big box. It was literally like barely full. So it definitely helps to just kind of consolidate things. Here we just kind of have like some empty little things. I'm not really quite sure. Like these we use to rotate to put like the little pieces in. Um, this I do for uh, just different like sorting activities and stuff. And then this I'm sure I'll find a use for. I just, you know, haven't gotten there yet. But I kind of sorted everything out. So we have all the different blocks. We have a couple of like battery operated, just small toys. Uh, all of her instrument type toys. And then the little tray that I put them out on when I do the rotation because we have like a bag that came on Amazon of a bunch of different ones, but then we also have uh, the Melissa and Doug instrument set, which came in that little wooden box thing. Um, all of her puzzles. Yes, she has an obscene amount of puzzles, but that's okay. Uh, I just went ahead and put all of her little people in this Ziploc bag. I'm pretty sure whoever gifted us or like, you know, they, they are passing on their nativity scene. I think they passed it on in this bag and we've just been using it since. Um, some seasonal books. And then like, here's the bulk of her bigger, they're just like the big plastic toys that she honestly doesn't play with that often, but uh, we've got her barn and her little dollhouse. She received both of those for Christmas this year. So that was like, those are two very large things compared to what we typically have. And then her little barn toy. And those are like some like pots and pans and things that my mom played with when she was little. I didn't touch the stuffed animals because I don't feel like going through those right now, to be honest. And then we have these bags of things. So now I just kind of have to figure out how I want to put this all back in there and like how it will serve us best. But oh yeah, I didn't even explain what this stuff is up here. So. These are the toys that she either has grown out of or is going to grow into not even very soon. Like we probably still have a couple years. Um, the same for these puzzles. Oh, those are just the sensory, the different color sensory bags. And then that is our for church bin, so. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Um, I have everything set up except for the color. So I just have orange written at the bottom and then I need orange stuff to put in here. And with my new organization system, it shouldn't be too hard. Oh, good thing this isn't heavy. And here it is right on top. And so then I can just literally take all the orange stuff out of this. I know of a couple things around the house I can get really easily, so hold on. A couple of play oranges, um, which uh, stay with her play food, so I'm gonna put them back when I'm done, but at least I'm only putting like two things away and not like seven, which is what I used to have to do. All right. So I'm switching out my daughter's toys, and I believe I already showed you the other closet, the organization there. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and show you this site as well. Um, some things kind of stayed the same. 
I didn't even touch the stuffed animals. I still have bags hanging there. Puzzles are still all right there. Um, but then that's, I guess, well, we still have similar things on this shelf. Again, sorry, it's so dark. You can see that this shelf's pretty empty before it was like overflowing, but it had a lot of these things like these all of these things that you see on the shelf were fighting for spots on this shelf and there's just absolutely no way to fit them all um so now we just kind of have like it's not really organized by what it is really except these are kind of like sorting toys um kind of i mean the rainbow's not really but um yeah and then i just put literally random other things that just didn't have a place anywhere else. So again, these balls will hopefully go somewhere else eventually, but um, we have, these are all different types of blocks, her barn, seasonal books, um, her instruments, little trays. That's just stuff in boxes. I mean, that's really why it's there. Uh, this is her kitchen toys, the barns. Those are her little people, obviously a dollhouse. We keep just various things there. So anyways, it's everything is so much more accessible now. Everything has a spot. So I really enjoy that. But I need to put away the toys that she was just... I need to put away these toys that she was just playing with. So obviously they don't technically have a spot yet because I've never put them in here. But like I said, we have plenty of room and as stuff goes in other stuff goes out so um I'll show you what I pick out for her in a minute okay I know I really need to remake this bed so please ignore that yeah this is not my favorite week of toy rotation these just aren't my favorite toys that she has but quite a few of these she really likes so this is kind of just like a little stuffed castle that has things she really likes putting things in so we have that we have this little like cement mixer truck and like the balls kind of spin around while it drives and stuff. So that'll be fun for her. Um, a little puzzle that makes the animal sounds when you put them in. Another thing that makes animal sounds. I don't really see. I try to not have overlap. Like if I have one animal thing, I try to not have another one, but she's really into animal toys right now. She's really into toys that make sound. So whatever that just happened because <laughs> I mean all the other toys I was I was like oh I already have something like that oh, I already have something like that so I mean whatever you know some weeks like I said are just better than others and then we have those she's really been getting into blocks recently and building and stuff so I think she'll have fun I think this will keep her preoccupied I think she'll play with all these things so let's go put them away okay got them set up it's always very interesting to see which one she goes for first. And my guess is this one. We'll see. You can go play with your toys? Yeah. Mama always knows. All right, guys. Well, I actually just finished editing this video and I did not forget to film an outro. <sighs> Some of my footage, probably about a third or a fourth of my footage got corrupted during the editing process, unfortunately. So I did lose some, but thankfully I was able to like, thankfully I rambled a ton in this footage. So I was really able to uh, keep a lot of the footage and have like a, you know, good length of a video. Um, but yeah, it's super frustrating. I've been actually facing quite a bit of technical difficulties recently. Um, just like I've gotten new equipment and stuff and it's just not all working the way I wanted it to, which is super frustrating. But thankfully, I've still been able to put out videos in a somewhat timely manner, although this one and the previous one were both a little bit late. So, well, I doubt I will have a video out on Monday, just being real with you guys. The next video I want to make is a like sewing projects video. I have so much scrap fabric and just things that I've had pile up that I'm like, I need to do this. I need to do that. And I got a sewing machine for Christmas. So I need to do like a whole project week, but um, we have a lot going on this week in general. And I'm also not very fast at sewing. So I might have to take a week off and then 
get back into it. I don't know. I'm going to try my very best to have video videos regularly for you guys. But like I said, with these technical difficulties, it's instead of only taking me like one to three hours to edit a 15 to 20 minute video, it's taking me like it, it takes me on and off all day, like importing the footage and trying to like <laughs> get it to work and like not have stuff be corrupted is taking like multiple hours. But it's like while it's importing, I can obviously go do other things. But like <sighs> then like then when it doesn't work, then you sit there and you try to figure it out and whatnot. So like, um, yeah, this video has taken like probably eight or more hours to edit so far which is really frustrating. Um, so all that being said, I appreciate your patience and I will do my very best to get those videos out for you as soon as possible because I'm very excited for the next video and I'm not positive what the video will be after that, but we're going to start thinking about it. So hopefully I can kind of like maybe do like a double week and get back on track. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting me even when things are a little bit chaotic. Um, yeah, I'm not going to ramble anymore. I feel like this video has already been very chatty. So I will see you guys in the next one.